Good Thursday morning, South Florida. I'm CBS4 meteorologist Asad Gonzalez in weather control, and we're waking up to a calm and mostly dry start. You can see a lovely view from our Fort Lauderdale camera, Broward County. But later on, storms will be developing. So right now, take advantage of the fact that we are quiet and dry on the radar. Winds calm, and it is muggy out there. The humidity is through the roof and you'll feel it when you step out the door. 80 in Fort Lauderdale and 82 in Key West. However, a few inland areas not as warm. 75 in Homestead, 79 in Miami. We are watching a tropical disturbance stretching from Cuba across the Bahamas. It does have a low potential, 20% chance of developing over the next two days. And for the next five days, a medium potential of cyclone development. And as we look for our potential impacts. We'll see some flooding rains, gusty winds likely through the weekend and the, right now the hurricane threat is very low. Of course we'll closely monitor it. So that moisture it's not going anywhere. It's just going to hang out over us and keep us wet and unsettled even through the weekend. And that means you're going to need to keep your wet weather gear close by. For today 88 degrees with those storms around. Heavy downpours in spots could see some lightning too. Uh, boaters, winds out of the southeast at 10 knots, 4 foot swells. And for tonight, lows will be in the upper 70s, storms likely with some downpours. Over the next few days, we are going to continue to deal with some storms and clouds around. In fact, could see even more widespread rain into Friday and even for your Saturday and Sunday. Highs will be in the upper 80s due to all the clouds and the storms. And the winds will be increasing next week with the potential for breezy showers. Remember, you can check in on local weather and the tropics any time of day right here at CBSMiami.com.